Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifa Labi and this is another week of a review. Well, today's video is actually not a review. Ever since I started this channel, I've always wanted to do like a prediction thing, like predicting the Oscars or predicting the Emmys. And for like, I think this is my third year of doing a channel. And this year I decided that, you know what? I am finally, finally going to do like a prediction thing. The Television Academy released the nominations for this year's Academy Awards. And since I've always wanted to do it, I thought, why not do it right so this is what i'm going to do this is going to be my 2019 emmy nominations predictions or 2019 emmy predictions so this is how i'm going to use my predictions right i'm going to do those who should win those who would probably win and those who shouldn't have been nominated at all and let's get this clear for most of the technical awards game of thrones is going to win it hands down so anyway let's get into these nominations okay first category is the best drama series so for best drama series who i think should probably who i think should win is pose pose season one was actually really really great and not just because of the diversity it's just because the story it told for the whole season one was just refreshing you know like it was just a breath of fresh air but who would probably win would be Game of Thrones or Killing Eve. Either one of those is. I think those should, those would probably win. What shouldn't be in this category at all is Game of Thrones because last season, uh, no. So best drama series, my num my prediction is posed, but probably Killing Eve. I mean, Succession is also great, but I don't think like it's a strong contender. Bodyguard is also good. good. Better Call Saul had a very phenomenon last season and Ozark, I mean Jason Bateman was great. Comedy series. The nom Who do I think should win? The Good Place. Who would probably win? The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel or Veep. And who shouldn't have been nominated in this category at all? I mean none of them. I feel like the comedy series has very strong contenders. Fleabag I mean, everybody, this is a thing. I actually wanted Fleabag to be nominated because I think they were snubbed last year and, and it raised a lot of eyebrows for me personally. So it being nominated is great. Russian Doll was great. Honestly, when I first saw the trailer, I thought it was going to be one of those things that wouldn't be nice, but it was actually really great. Shit's Creek, I mean, this is like the fifth season and it has been snubbed year after year after year. So this is a well-deserved nomination. Veep, this was their last season. So they would probably win, but in my opinion, I think The Good Place should win it because A Good Place, three seasons of trying to tell a story of like heaven and hell and like the consequences of actions it was done tremendously i think ted danson and Kristen bell are great marvelous mrs Maisel might actually win again i mean so the nominees for limited series are now <laughs> this category right is so packed because i mean when it's a limited series everybody comes out swinging like nobody is leaving the story you know to just waddle along because it's limited so you have like five to six or eight episodes to tell your stories so you're going to make sure that every action every episode is packed and packed and packed so for this i'm very hmm about it what force and verdant was some way for me because i didn't actually enjoy it as, as much as i thought i would so that was very like off for me I like when they see us. I mean, obviously, Escape at Danimora was mm, was just phenomenal. And this is the thing: before when the CS came, I actually thought that Escape at Danimora would be the thing that would win. But now, when the CS is there, and then there's Chernobyl, and like all oh, these are great. So let me give my predictions. Who I think would probably win the limited series is Chernobyl. However, when the CS might probably win. The next category is a lead actor in a drama series, and the nominees are. Now, mm, who shouldn't be here? Kit Harrington, Game of Thrones. He said maximum of, I think, 40 words the whole season. I don't know why he's here. And acting, he just gave us one expression the whole time. So no, I don't think Kit Harrington should have been nominated for best actor. Who I think should win is Billy Porter for Pose. Let me tell you, Billy Porter as Pray Tell in Pose was just mwah. Like he just took his character and then made him more he is a great actor i'm telling you the episode where they sang at the aids ward and when his partner died it was just it was that's the stuff that dreams are made of. like that's the stuff that like timing it was so great so i think that honestly 
Billy Porter should win for polls. But who would probably win? Probably Sterling K. Brown again for This Is Us. Uh, I mean, he was great last season. I mean, Sterling K. Brown is a phenomenal actor. So lead actress in a drama series. And the nominees are... Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting choices. Last season of How to Get Out of Murder wasn't its strongest season yet. But I mean, Viola Davis, I feel like she's one of those people that can elevate any script or any material she's given. Like any material, she, she can just take it to the next thousand levels. So Viola Davis is like a, one of my favorite people to watch. So my predictions are who I think should win lead actress in a drama series should be Jodie Comer for Killing Eve. So Killing Eve last year wasn't nominated and I was shocked because last season, because last year it had like one of the best, like it came out of the gate swinging and I feel like Jodie Comer has been very persistent in her acting as being Villanelle, you know, being the psychopathic serial killer who is in love or is obsessed with you know Eve. So I think, I think personally I think Jodie Comer should win for Killing Eve. Who shouldn't be here? Probably House of Cards, because House of Cards last season was just, I mean, it was just last season and was plagued by Kevin Spacey's controversy, his wahala. So it made the whole season just, oh, good, good, goodness gracious. It was just a very off balance season. So no, I don't think Robin, I don't think last season was Robin Wright's best work. So I don't think she should have noticed. So who do I think should win? Jodie Comer for Killing Eve. Who would probably win? Sandra O. Oh. And let's go to the next category, lead actor in a comedy series. Now, lead actor in a comedy series is one that is so action-packed because all of them bring different things to the category. But who do I think should win? Ted Danson. Ted Danson is phenomenal as Michael and he's like a demon from the bad place and by he tricked, you know, I'm not even going to go into like the greatness of the good place, but honestly who I think should win is Ted Danson because Ted Danson is, is, I mean, he's a legend and he has great comedic timing. I mean, not like all, all the people nominated, I think Eugene Levy for Shit's Creek, mm, I think he should win. Bill Hader, yes. Don Cheadle was surprisingly, I, I don't know why I'm saying surprised because Don Cheadle is actually quite funny. Michael Douglas, I mean the same thing. Anthony Anderson, eh, I don't know. Moving on. Lead actress in a comedy series. Who do I think should win this? Phoebe Waller-Bridge for Fleabag because she is great. Look, I, I can't, I can't, like quite not enough for me to describe how great she is. Who do I think will probably win? Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Once again, Veep, this was their last season. So I think they're going to sweep the comedy awards again, but probably she would win or Rachel Brosnahan. So between Rachel Brosnahan and Julia Louis-Dreyfus, it's a toss up between them, the both of them, but who do I think should honestly win? I think Phoebe Waller-Bridge should win for Fleabag, because I mean, she's great. Lead actor in a limited series or movies. Hmm, who do I think, this is the thing, who do I think should honestly win is Gerald Jerome. Look, he, he acted, he emoted, and he just took it to the next level. Because I mean, the story itself is very polarizing. The story itself is very triggering, right? And when you watch all of them, their performances, it's, it's all great. It's all like, oh my God, this is this is so sad. And you know, it was like this. But when he comes on screen and his standout episode, he just elevated it. But who do I think would win? Jared Harris for Chernobyl. He was really great in Chernobyl. Mahashala Ali, I mean, Mahashala is an actor, okay? I think he should, I think, I think, I mean, he'll, he'll, I don't think he'll probably win, but he's a strong contender. Benicio Del Toro to Escape at Denmora, amazing performance. So lead actress in a limited series or movie. Who do I think would win? Probably Amy Adams. She was really great and sharp objects. I was really impressed. I didn't think, I, I didn't really like, sharp objects but i was really impressed with her acting on it so i think she should she would probably win for it patricia arquette too so the next category is supporting actress in a drama series so there's gwendolyn christie game of thrones julia garner ozak lena Headey, game of thrones fiona shaw killing eve sophie turner game of thrones Maisie williams game of thrones who do i think should win this gwendolyn christie she was great 
in last season's Game of Thrones, you know, right from when she was knighted and she and Jamie, I think she really did great. And I feel like she deserves it. Lena Headey was great, but I, think, I mean, she spent the whole season eight drinking wine and then saying something that was just off. But I mean, that's just it. And supporting actor in the drama series, Alfie Allen, Game of Thrones, Jonathan Banks, Better Call Saul. Nikolai Costa Waldo, Game of Thrones, Peter Dinklage, Game of Thrones, Giancarlo Esposito, Better Call Saul, Michael Kelly, House of Cards, Chris Sullivan, This Is Us. Ooh, Game of Thrones has a lot of supporting categories in their in bag. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Impressive. But who do I think should win? Probably Nikolai Costa Waldo. I mean he was really great as Jamie Lannister. But Giancarlo Esposito as Goose Franks, better call so I feel like, so for me personally, I think supporting actor in a drama series should go to Giancarlo Esposito. But who would probably win would be Alfie Allen or Nicolai Costa Waldo. I feel like they had really great last, like they really had great seasons. Supporting, okay, so supporting actor in a comedy series, Alan Arkin, The Kaminsky Method, Anthony Carrigan, Barry, Tony Hill, Veep. Stephen Roots, Barry. Tony Shalhoub, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Henry Winkler, Barry. Okay, supporting actor should probably go to Tony Shalhoub. He was great last season. He, I feel like he's, he's a really great actor and I didn't think he would be able to, I don't know, last season, I wasn't really checking for him, but he really surprised me. So, I mean, that was good. Henry Winkler might probably win it for Barry, but who do I think should win? Tony Shalhoub, definitely. Okay, so supporting actress in a limited series or movie, Patricia Arquette, The Act, Marsha Stephanie Blake, When They See Us, Patricia Clarkson, Sharp Objects, Vera Famiga, When They See Us, Margaret Quilly, Force and Verdon, and Emily Watson, Chernobyl. Oh, Emily Watson for Chernobyl. She was really great. She was really, really great, and I think that she deserves it. Yeah. So supporting actor in a limited series or movie, as Hunter Black, When They See Us, Paul Dano, Escape at Danimora, John Luguziamo, When They See Us, Stellan Skarsgård, Chernobyl, Ben Whishaw, A Very English Scandal, Michael K. Williams, When They See Us. Now let me just say this, the Skarsgård brothers are everywhere. I mean, I like this family. I think I should be part of the Skarsgård people. But who do I think, my prediction on who should win support an actor in a limited series or movie? Michael K. Williams. I mean, he was phenomenal in When the CS and I feel like he deserves it. But who would probably win? John Rilekoziamo or Stellan Skarsgård? One of those two. They might probably win because it's Chernobyl. Actor for a drama series, Game of Thrones, The Iron Throne. Game of Thrones, The Last of the Starks. Game of Thrones, The Long Night. The Handmaid's Tale, Holly. Killing Eve, Desperate Times, and Ozark Reparations. Well, Game of Thrones intentionally put like three great episodes so that, you know, they would win it. If they don't win one, they win for the other episode. Well, I feel like directing for a drama series should go to Miguel Sapochnik because, I mean, The Long Night was really, really, like, it was a really great episode. I mean, it was dark. You couldn't really see it. But the director was on point. Me, I, I was able, I had 4K. Clear. I was able to. So I feel like directing for a drama series should go to my Miguel Sapochnik for The Long Night's Game of Thrones. So directing for a limited series or TV movie, A Very English Scandal, uh, Stephen Fierce, Chernobyl, Escape at Danamora, Force and Verdon, Glory, Force and Verdon, Who's Got the Pain, and When the Sea Is, Eva Duvernay. So I think that directing for a limited series or TV movie should go to Chernobyl. But who should probably win it? Eva Duvernay. So those are like my predictions. Whew. So let me just, I'm done with my predictions on who I think should win the, the various Emmy categories. I, I don't know, it's a lot of categories. There are lots of people and these are like, after watching the shows, and nobody just comes at me and be like, wow, you watch all these shows. Look, it's an already established fact. I watch a lot of shows. People are trying to let me cut off on it. I'm a work in progress. So honestly, there was a couple of people that I thought would be nominated that weren't nominated. That was very head scratching for me. Like how do you nominate the bodyguard for best drama series and nominate nobody for bodyguard for acting? Or like, it was, it was just very baffling. Richard Madden, he's, he might be our next James Bond. He put even nominated for best acting because I think he was really great. So um, there were a lot of snubs that were very, mm, 
I mean, it was very obvious. Like, Justin Hartley should have been nominated for supporting actor for This Is Us. He was really great. But all in all, these are my predictions for the 2019 Emmy Awards. And the, the show is going to come on September 22nd. Yes, September 22nd. So when it comes, I'm going to do, like, my predictions. I'm, I'll probably do a video after the award ceremony and, you know, find out whether or not I was able to be right or not so anyways my name is Ifa Labi. please subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments below who you think are going to win in the various categories let me know who is like your favorite to win and let me know who is your least favorite to win in any of the categories let me know just you know in the comments comment down below tell me mm -mm, i don't think anyone should be in any of it and let's kick you over it so anyways um thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and i'll see you on my next video okay